he just picked me up from work and we just got the girls from the Boys and Girls Club. Just coming home. Yeah, just coming home. Yeah. How, any idea how long this man followed you guys? It was a short amount of time because he was down Moreland already. He was yeah. already down Moreland Street. He was like, he was already on the street. He was on the go. Okay, he was on a roll. He didn't want to stop for nobody. He had clear lane, and here I come at the stop sign, and I stopped. And he was like, "No, I'm about to get this." So he he was going either the same rate or maybe a fat. I can't. I don't know. But I know I stopped. You yeah. feel me? And I made that left. He went over that dip in that truck like it was a wreck, like it was nothing, and he was on my bumper. I was driving, he stayed on my bumper the whole time, so I stopped, like, hey, back up off. Like, I pressed on the brake, like, you know what I'm saying? And then I just looked in my rear, in my side mirror, you know, to see, you know, to make sure he slowed up, and then I kept going. He stayed behind us, and I did notice. When I looked in the rear view, was I seen him do something like this. Now, I didn't think that he was putting together a clip on a gun. I was thinking he was maybe fixing a cell phone, maybe he had something, I don't know. But I just seen him do a whole gesture, okay, that now I know what he was doing. And while he drove, while we drove, I turned into the driveway, and he was behind me the whole time, okay, on me. I turned into the driveway, and when I turned, it was like he turned like this, like he, I don't know, I don't know, but he turned in like that, and I came into my driveway. So this is where we are, this is where he is. So I said, what, what is he doing? So my wife is like, you know, so I get out the car, and I say, what's up? And then he did it, did it, did it, it automatically starts shooting. So I got hit. I didn't even know my daughter was hit. I got hit and I laid back and then I seen her lean forward and I seen the hole in the back. And she leaned forward and she looked at me and I told her, baby. Anyway, she, uh, she leaned forward, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and her eyes rolled in the back of the head. I didn't even know he left. I, I, I didn't, you know, I just know the shooting stopped. And I see my neighbors and, you know, they came over and they, you know, they, they didn't know what happened. They just know what happened. They didn't know that she had gotten hit and we were all panicked. No one's prepared for that. The and only words that ex you exchanged with him. The only thing you said was I didn't up. say one Thank word you. to him the whole trip except for when I got out the car and I said, what's up? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I said, what's up? Because he stopped on my property at my, what's going on? What's up? I don't, I don't know how else you want me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just said, what's up? What's going on? Did you make eye contact with him? I, I did. I got out the car the same time he got out and I looked at him directly in his eyes and we we made eye contact and it, within three seconds that's when he fired off several shots and he fired through th his door he didn't even take out the window he fired directly through his door that's why the bullet was so low to where it hit my daughter where she was sitting because of how he had aimed the gun yeah and fired fired off